हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज अभिषेक बगेरवाल वेलकम टू सेल्स फॉर साइंस टाइम सीरीज सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोना टॉक अबाउट हाउ टू क्रिएट अ प्रडिक्शन यूजिंग सेल्स फॉर साइंस टाइम सो द सीनेरियो विच आई एम गोना वर्क इज आई हैव एन ऑब्जेक्ट एज रिजर्वेशन विच इज लाइक रिजर्वेशन फॉर सम इवेंट फॉर अ कॉन्टेक्ट रिकॉर्ड फॉर अ पर्सन so what i'm going to create is there is a status on the reservation and it has three values completed no show or upcoming so using the prediction builder i'm going to predict with what percentage or what amount a reservation is going to be uh, uh, the person is going to be no show on that reservation or uh, in the normal words the person is not going to the reserved event or reserved place okay so that is the uh, the status for that is no show means the person did not came there okay so for that i am going to create a prediction builder which is going to show me something like this predictions that uh, this amount predicted no show that einstein has predicted that only this much percentage it's not going to go to this event the person is not going to go to this event the higher this percent is that means there are more chances there are multiple chances that uh, the person will not show on the reserved event okay and based on that we are going to uh, we are going to show uh, some of the uh, predictions over here so let's start with uh, creating the prediction builder okay so uh, here i have come up on the einstein prediction builder and i'm going to click new so i'm just going to give a name as prediction no show which is basically we are looking for click next then it's going to ask for the object for which you are going to predict something so in our case our object is reservation so i'm going to find in here and i'm going to select it save and next now next step is to define this segment okay which reservation records which uh, basically the object which you have selected so for which records this einstein should work for this einstein should predict so i'm going to say all reservation records click next now another thing is example records so you need to uh, pass two scenarios here okay one scenario is when your prediction uh, represents as a yes and one when your prediction represents a no so in our case yes outcome will come when when the reservation status is no show means the person did not come on the reserved event okay so what i'm going to do is on the reservation object there is a field as a status which does have a value of no show so that is going to be my yes outcome means the prediction is going to be correct that uh, this is not gonna show on the reservation okay so status equals to no show now similarly i need to define a no outcome which would be status does not equal to no show so apart from no show any status whether uh, whether it's upcoming or whether it's completed okay so if that's done then click next one thing you need to uh, uh, you need to keep in mind here is that the number of records that are coming that should be a sufficient number of records so in order to show that i'm just going to go back to the example records so as you can see here for this criteria there are 300 records present and for this criteria there are 700 records present so that means it's not showing any error but i i believe it is like uh, 
300 at minimum there should be the records for each criteria otherwise it's not gonna work because uh, in machine learning the number of as much as number of records you have the model is gonna work with uh, that uh, uh, that sufficiently okay but if uh, number of records are very small then uh, there might be some validation in our tool as well in our Einstein prediction builder then it's not gonna uh, create the model for that so just keep in mind that it's gonna show you the total number of amount if you are lacking the number of records you can uh, modify the records to get the desired number of records for your conditions so I'm gonna click next now uh, this is the included fields here you need to include the fields which can have uh, impact on your prediction so I'm gonna select uh, a status field that should be fine for me seven next and records to predict so here we need to define for which records we want to predict now uh, let me clear one thing the example records are also the, the records present in your org which has been uh, which has been used to uh, create the model to uh, we can say to train the model okay example records is to train the model but this is to test your model okay so this is gonna work uh, in real on your records so I'm gonna come down and there are two options one is predict on all records that aren't example records or because I do not have any more records apart from example records so I'm gonna select choose specific records and I'm gonna deselect this one exclude example records I want to include those records and the field you need to uh, you need to give a criteria for that so what I'm just giving is status field is not null okay status is null equals to false so click save and next now you need to define one more thing you need to give uh, the name of the score field basically we are creating a new field over here so which will store the score so which I was showing you here so this let's say this nine value this is nothing but a score that Einstein has provided to this record okay so I'm just gonna say here as prediction okay prediction no show Seven next so once that is done it's gonna take you to the review page where you can see uh, all the checks the name and type we have given as prediction no show yes or no type and object we have selected as reservation example records we have given where condition is a status equals to no show or does not equal to no show and included fields we have selected only one field that is status and records to predict i have selected all the records where status is not null and score field i have created prediction no show so that is all the information you need to provide to create a prediction and you just after everything is checked everything is green here also you can see data checker is also green then you can build this model okay so you can click re, uh, build and you can click build this model so once that is done it's gonna take uh, some time and that would be up to 24 hours it can take to build the model then once that is done then it's gonna uh, show you some of the actions on here so this is the one which uh, I have just created and similar this I have created this one previously the same same model I have created so here as you can see there are few things like view scorecard so once your model is built it's gonna show you a scorecard 
like what is the quality of your prediction what are the top predictors means what fields are uh, participating more than other fields uh, in your prediction and the result of the prediction whether it has predicted something so how much of the percent it has predicted correctly and how much not correct incorrectly so that is you can see over here so like that some of the matrix you can see uh, on here okay and once that is done then you will have a button or an action over here as enable so once uh, your model is ready to review then you can enable the model and after the enablement it's gonna take again some minutes to some hours up to 24 hours to provide the prediction amount on all the records okay it's not gonna be like uh, just uh, real time it's not gonna provide it's gonna take some time few minutes to few hours to provide the prediction to all the records okay so that was about the prediction now uh, i have already created so uh, i'm just gonna show you so i will open two reservation records okay so as you can see this is one reservation record on which status is upcoming so for that it has predicted a very low amount as nine okay and there is another reservation record where the status is no show so for this it has predicted 80 as the amount so you can consider it as the nine percent einstein said that uh, this is going to be a no show reservation uh, because uh, the status is upcoming and uh, here where the status is no show then it's gonna be 80 percent that einstein says that it's gonna be a no show okay now because i have created this prediction directly on the basis of a status you can create it on basis of something like uh, uh, as you can see there is a field as previous no shows okay so what you can do uh, and on a reservation the on the basis of previous no shows you can determine you can give a percentage that you can predict that by this percent this is going to be a no show reservation okay now let's say uh, there are two reservation one is having uh, okay let's talk about the, these two only so this reservation is having zero previous no shows means there are less chances that the upcoming reservation would be a no show okay so there will be less percentage einstein gonna predict okay now on this reservation there is already previous no show there are two times uh, this uh, customer did not show on the reservation okay so einstein gonna predict more percentage that the this time also the the customer would be a no show on this reservation okay so that that's like that you can uh, consider the fields that have an impact on your prediction okay so that was all about this einstein prediction builder and its prediction and uh, one more thing uh, i will show you how to add this this box on here so go to the edit page from setup and there is a action as uh, or no not action uh, there is a utility as einstein next builder you just have to drag it and drop on the ui and that's how you can get this box okay as then prediction so it's gonna show you uh, the amount uh, sorry the percentage uh, it has provided on the field which you have created and top predictors so in my case no show of reservation is true so this is the checkbox and last updated so that's how you can uh, configure the prediction and uh, update the records based on the prediction it has predicted Okay, so that was all about this video. If you like it, please like it and comment on it. For more, please subscribe my channel as Abhishek Bagherwal. Thank you.